What I want to talk about in this video is what pneumonia looks like in every lung lobe and highlight some high yield characteristics that you want to look for. Before we jump into it, the two big things that help you identify which lung lobe a pneumonia is in include the following. First, the silhouette sign. So this includes the mediastinum, the heart borders, and the diaphragms. And second is the minor fissure on frontal chest x-rays. So this will help you tell between right middle lobe and right upper lobe pneumonias. In this video, we'll also mention air bronchograms, which is something you can see that might indicate pneumonia, as well as the spine sign for looking for pneumonia on a lateral chest x-ray. It will be helpful for you to take a look at our previous videos, if you haven't already, about lung fields and the silhouette sign. Now let's get started. The first one we'll talk about is a right upper lobe pneumonia, which could look like this. Remember that the right upper lobe covers this area, and so a right upper lobe pneumonia could be anywhere in this area. Now two things you want to look for in order to diagnose a right upper lobe pneumonia include first seeing the minor fissure, and second the silhouette sign of the mediastinum. So normally it's hard to see the minor fissure on frontal chest x-rays, but if there's a pneumonia in either the right upper lobe or right middle lobe, and no pneumonia in the other lobe, so i.e. pneumonia in the right upper lobe and not in the right middle lobe, the differences in density between the two lobes really accentuates the minor fissure, which you clearly can see here on this chest x-ray. If there's an opacity above the minor fissure, it's in the right upper lobe, and if the opacity is in the is below the minor fissure, then it's in the right middle lobe. Simple enough, right? The other sign is the silhouette sign of the right mediastinum. And this is because the right upper lobe borders the right mediastinum, and the presence of the pneumonia in the right upper lobe can sometimes lead to the disappearance of the right mediastinal border. Next is a right middle lobe pneumonia, which can be anywhere in this area. The two signs you want to look for here include the silhouette sign of the right heart border, as well as the minor fissure. The right middle lobe borders the right heart border, so a right middle lobe pneumonia can lead to the disappearance of a right heart border. As we just talked about before with the right upper lobe pneumonia, if the minor fissure is accentuated and there's only an opacity below the minor fissure, then it's likely that that pneumonia is in the right middle lobe. Now let's talk about a right up lower lobe pneumonia, which can be anywhere in this area. The two signs that help you identify this are the lack of a right heart border, silhouette sign, and the silhouette sign of the right diaphragm. Remember that the right lower lobe doesn't border the right heart border, and so a right lower lobe pneumonia shouldn't cause a right heart silhouette sign, which is the case here. However, the right lower lobe does border the right diaphragm, which is why you can have a silhouette sign of the right diaphragm. Next up is a left upper lobe pneumonia, which can be anywhere in this area. The two signs to help you identify that it is a left upper lobe pneumonia include the silhouette sign of the left mediastinum and or the left heart border, and secondly, the lack of a silhouette sign of the left diaphragm. Remember that there's no minor fissure on the left side to help us out like there is on the right side. The left upper lobe borders both the left mediastinum and left heart border. So a pneumonia in this lobe can cause both of these borders to disappear, as you can see. The left upper lobe does not, however, touch the diaphragm. So you should not see a silhouette sign of the left diaphragm i.e. you can see the diaphragm border pretty clearly on this chest x-ray. Now the next thing I want to bring up is the air bronchogram sign. This is a good but not perfect indication that the opacity that you're looking at is a pneumonia. See these areas on the chest x-ray that look darker than the rest of the pneumonia? I'm trying to highlight here so you can tell. And notice how they almost look like tubes. Well, really what they are, are the bronchi of the left lung. And what's happening here is that all of the inflammatory material in the alveoli of the lungs is contrasting in density with the air that's still in the bronchi, which allows us to see lung bronchi that we normally can't see. And this is called the air bronchogram sign. Now finally, 
is the left lower lobe pneumonia. It can be anywhere in this area. So the two signs that help you identify that it is a left lower lobe pneumonia include first the lack of a silhouette sign of the left heart border, and second the silhouette sign of the left heart di left diaphragm. Remember that the left lower lobe does not border, border the left heart border, and so you should not see a silhouette sign, i.e. you can see the left heart border pretty well. The left lower lobe, however, does border the left diaphragm, which is why you can see the left diaphragm border disappear with a left lower lobe pneumonia. And finally, to be complete, I do want to touch on the spine sign on the lateral chest x-ray to look for pneumonia. Remember that the heart blocks out part of the lungs on frontal chest x-rays. And so if you look behind the heart, you can look, you can see that from a lateral film. The spine sign is the following. As you follow the spine down on a lateral film, it should get gradually darker, which you see here on this normal film. However, if you follow the spine down and the spine does not get darker on this right, the film on the right, then you have a positive spine sign. This is a good indication that you might have a lower lobe pneumonia. There are actually ways you can tell if it's in the right lo lower lobe or left lower lobe, and this one in particular is in the right lower lobe, but it's based on looking at the diaphragms, which I don't have enough time to touch on here. Hopefully this was helpful and that you can now identify which lobe pneumonia is in, like a boss. Now for the take-home points. A list of the two signs that you can look for to confirm which lobe pneumonia is in, I've listed below, and I won't read them out, but they're here for your reference. Second, an air bronchogram is something that you might see that could indicate the lesion that you're looking at is pneumonia. However, it is not specific for which lung lobe the pneumonia is in. And finally, to be complete, you also want to look for the spine sign on a lateral chest x-ray. Thank you.